So here's the planes. Plane healing is really known for two major things. One, shifting and changing beliefs on all levels, core belief, genetic history, and soul. And the other thing that we're really known for is the planes of existence. Okay, so it's not complicated and it fits in very well with people's ancient teachings. Okay, and by ancient teachings, I am saying many religions encompass this if you just breathe and really look. You will see that the books that our ancestors left to us actually have enormous amount of knowledge, which is really cool. But of course, if you just hear planes of existence, you're thinking, oh no, what is that? Okay, so the planes of existence is actually divided in how fast atoms and particles are moving. That's it. The first plane of existence, the atoms and, and molecules are moving so slow that they give us the impression of it being solid. Okay, so the first plane of existence is solid materials and it's used, and also the minerals of the earth. Minerals like calcium, magnesium, now, all of these things that we are actually made up as humans, but they're moving super slow, these particles. So the first plane is moving super slow. So a rock would be on this plane. You know, even the earth, the sand might be on this plane. You know, the basic energies uh, that are moving slow. Minerals are in your body. So technically, you're part of the first plane of existence. The second plane of existence is when the atoms are starting to move faster. And as they move faster, they start to create more sugar uh, molecules. They start to add like carbon atoms to things. As you look at the second plane of existence, you realize that this is when you have life. Now, if you were a scientist, you may think that the first plane of existence is made up of non-organic material, but it's not alive. But in theta healing, everything is alive. Everything. Okay. The second plane is where you would find your plants. They're, they're growing. They're using light to live. Um, it is amazing uh, that you can see a plant grow by giving it water and the minerals of the earth. So the second plane of existence would be the plants. Okay, just so you know. Now, there are a couple other things that are on this second plane too. You know, you may see a few nature spirits, but technically the second plane is the plants. The third plane of existence is when you're starting to get more complex life forms and you're getting proteins. The atoms are moving faster now, and now the animals are moving. So where they were staying in one place by themselves without, you know, unless they have help, and then they're growing and now they're moving. Okay. So on the third plane of existence, you have protein-based organisms that we would probably call the animal kingdom. Now, I know you're thinking, oh, that's where I am. But the truth is, is that you are made up of minerals and you are also made up of vitamins. And by the way, vitamins are um, organic, minerals are non-organic. So you actually eat plants and you also eat proteins. So technically you're really part of all three of these planes of existence, just so you know. Now these three planes of existence are actually three dimensional planes. So they have three dimensions, just so you know, a dimension is up, down, east, west, north, south, that all makes three dimensions. Okay, just so you know. The fourth plane of existence is when energy starts to move even faster. So when we die, we lay our bodies down in this three-dimensional world, but we're not really dead. We go on to another energy called the fourth plane of existence. This is what we would call the spirit world. Oh, we may still be there, but we're moving so fast that most people can't see us with their, their naked eye. So 
you can see spirit sometimes with a camera, but uh, you are moving so much faster. So now the energy is moving so fast that uh, the third dimension may not be able to see it, but I'm sure that you guys have noticed that maybe your animals have seen spirits or your children for that matter that haven't told herself that there's no such thing. So the fourth plane of existence is the, the plane of the spirit. Okay, then I mean by this is where you go after you die. Now, these other planes that I'm talking about now are actually divided into layers. Now, the fifth plane of existence moves even faster. Now they're moving really fast. So the atoms are moving super, super, super fast. And this plane would be the plane of the angels and the masters, people that have actually mastered their lives and are actually living in this energy. Okay, and then the sixth plane of existence is the laws of the universe. Laws like gravity, you know, laws like electricity, laws like magnetics, all of these moving faster and faster and faster. And then there's the seventh plane, which is all of these planes, Everything, the room, the board, all the planes, it's everything. It's the energy that creates everything. It is life before it starts. It's atoms before they move. It's everything that is. So here's how it works. Every plane of existence can heal. If you ask me what I believe with all the, the core of my being, I will tell you, that we are part of this amazing energy, the creator of all that is. Okay, everything else, it comes from this energy and the movement of atoms. Just so you know, that's how it works. And some of you may not find it very, very, very cool, but you're going to find it very helpful. Because in your life, you're going to meet people, you're going to go places, and you're going to see things that you may not understand. You don't have to understand. What you have to know is that the energy of the creator of all that is, the seventh plane, is the energy of perfect intelligence and love. This intelligent force, this pure energy, creates the quarks that create atoms. It creates particles before they become even particles. It creates everything that is, has this energy in it. Our ancestors knew this. Our ancestors referred to it many times. Sometimes they called it the spirit. Sometimes they called it the spirit that moves in all things. Sometimes they called it the Holy Spirit. They knew this life force gave all life to everything. So remember that the energy of the creator is all around us. It is stronger than anything. And we are part of it. It is your birthright to be able to tap into it. And in Theta Healing, we teach you how to go to a Theta Brainwave that allows you to feel the interconnection of all that is.